that is why you have to speak aloud literally a hundred times. That's why I'm taking this video. <laughs> I'm just gonna talk random things like as usual I went to an English school but you know always you feel like you not really good at speaking English or speaking the language you're studying even though you speak so much smoothly fluently in your mother tongue you know Th that's why I'm taking videos in English you know recently as I told you uh, my teacher point out the every single error I made so you know I, I kind of you know hesitate to speak aloud well it, it's it's a good thing though and he got married to his wife this March and and um, they were planning to hold their wedding party but you know at the moment it's COVID-19 pandemic so they are planning it's like for, for a year and a half or something like that. So they kind of keep postponing it. For visa reasons, he is able to go back to his country and come back to Japan as well. But his parents are not allowed to come in to Japan for the COVID-19 issue. They actually booked their wedding in November or something. But they may postpone it again, that's what he told me. And um, international marriage uh, reminded me of my younger sister's story. Uh, she got married to a Spanish guy, they lived together with my parents' house at the moment. So uh, in, in the house there are my grandma, dad and mom, my sister, her husband and my nephew. And then um, it was like they they got married like four or five years ago because my nephew is three years old so and um, first of all they held a wedding in Madrid and uh, the year after we invited his parents and brother for taking uh, wedding pictures I remember that gosh I I speak so badly it's just practice. What did I learn today? Oh, speaking of wedding, you know, at the moment for the COVID-19, wedding industry is terrible. Like, a friend of mine posted a photo on Instagram and that's telling me that a wedding uh, company in Sapporo went bankrupt and they demolished uh, their building. So the land was completely flattened. That again reminded me of my ex-girlfriend who broke up with uh, for the COVID-19 issue like you know she was working for Amazon and she immediately uh, started uh, remote work uh, but I had to do uh, go to office you know I had to take it very crowded subway every morning uh, plus I meet a lot of people in the building. I was a pretty risky person for her because only people she have met were her parents and me. And that's it. So I was the most risky person for her. So, But still, I'm not really scared of COVID-19. Well, it, it, it is dangerous, but I know a lot of people have suffered from it or even died for it. So I'm not saying that I don't mean to, you know, offend th those people or uh, their families. I do wish they rest in peace. Anyway, she was quite scared of COVID-19 and I was not really. And I wanted to go for a drink, go for a meal. Actually, I did a lot. Our difference in values caused the friction and eventually we broke up. I think that can be helped. Like, we have different sense of value. Well, I mean, no one has the exactly same sense of value. So we have to discuss what we choose, what we decide. As long as you're together, you have to, you know, discuss 
about things around you. We have to, you know, understand each other. You, you cannot 100% understand others, but at least you have to try. That's the way you can together with your partner but um but you know I, I was like this isn't going well i felt i'm also so felt selfish but i felt like she was pretty demanding i i think that was good decision for each of us anyway after we talked something like that we started studying with the te textbook i bought a sentence said something about a risk my teacher asked me if i have ever taken any risk he added did your parents dismiss your journey for ireland well i said no they do not like because where was i because my sister has already been to Spain a few years before, so it was not a problem for them, even if I go to Ireland or somewhere else. And I've learned a phrase of, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's on the tip of my tongue. Like, uh, actually, I was in that situation because for describing uh, my sister's wedding. I somehow always forgotten the capital city of Spain and I was like, uh, what, what was the name of the capital city of Spain? Always my teacher kindly teaches me the name of the city, Madrid. I could say that. Uh, I forgot the capital of Spain. Oh, it's the tip on my tongue. Oh, I got it. It's Madrid. Something like that. And also learned a phrase goes like, for example, I couldn't make heads or tails of Shakespeare's play. I couldn't make heads or tails of Shakespeare's play. Well, I have never read uh, any Shakespeare's novel, but um, she told me that Shakespeare's novels are written in a very old type of English that modern English speaker wouldn't understand. So it's it's something like old Japanese kobun, what we used to study in high school or in junior high school. Anyway, I learned the phrase goes something makes heads or, or tails of Shakespeare's play. It means you do not understand the content uh, from the head until the tail. And uh, it, it's, it's pretty much the same sort of expression. Get my head around. Get my head around. I couldn't get my head around what, what he said because he spoke in unknown language. I couldn't get my head around what he, he was saying is better, I guess. I couldn't get my head around what he was saying, what he was saying because he spoke in an unknown, unknown language. Uh, I couldn't get my head around what he was saying because he spoke, but, but, but because he spoke an unknown language. Well, and uh, the last one come to grips with. I still have not come to grips with the death of my grandpa. I still have not come to. I still have not come to grips with the death of my grandpa. Oh gosh! Just now I realized that you know you cannot really speak smoothly unfamiliar sentence or an unfamiliar phrase. That is why you have to speak aloud literally a hundred times that's why i'm taking this video i don't i'm i'm not sure if you understand this video more or less uh, it's uh, it's a, such a long time what else i can tell you sorry i, I just told you uh what i have experienced today um 